Welcome to Don't Retire, Graduate, the podcast that teaches you how to advance into retirement rather than retreating. I'm your host and valedictorian, Eric Brotman, and today is a very special show for Don't Retire, Graduate. We have not one but two guests today to debate and discuss the different types of financial advice that different folks need during the course of their lives. So today we're joined in studio by Brent Weiss. Uh, Brent is, he's a former partner of BFG Financial Advisors and the founding member of Facet Wealth. So he brings better than a decade of experience as a financial advisor to support Facet's mission of making high quality financial advice more affordable and accessible to families that need it most. He refers to himself as the chief evangelist. So I know we're going to have some fun with with Brent today. Brent, welcome to the studio and welcome to the show. Eric, it's uh, it's a pleasure to be here and great to be back at uh, where I started my career many, many moons ago. Very good. And not to be outdone, uh, not in studio, so at a terrible disadvantage because there's no body language involved, is Holly Grosvenor. Um, Holly uh, runs an an amazing coaching practice called Micro Stuff, and we're going to talk a lot about this, but where most financial advisors are concerned with gathering assets and managing money and and these types of things, Holly really wants to share her love of saving uh, and frugality uh, and how to uh, essentially prepare people for the unexpected. And, And she works in a very different way. So Holly, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. So first, I'd like the two of you to sort of tell your story, and I'm, I'm going to let Holly go first, um, a, a little bit about how you got into the, the financial coaching world, and maybe a little bit about how a coach is different than a financial advisor. Absolutely. So I got involved doing coaching, as in helping families gain access to financial literacy and understanding budgeting and frugality several years ago. Um, I've been fascinated by personal finance myself and having had a personal experience when I was growing up where my father passed away unexpectedly, my mom and I realized, oh my gosh, we didn't understand how to handle the finances. Um, And it turns out it's not just, we were the only ones that have had to deal with that. So as I experienced talking to other people and friends and family and coworkers, it's amazing how people aren't aware of how to do some basic budgeting. Uh, And so as I communicated about it, a lot of people kept asking me, why don't you start doing coaching? Because I really need help. Or I have this question, how do I solve this problem? Or where do I go to figure out ways to save on groceries? Or how do I, um, you know, investigate stuff on medical bills, things like that. So over time, it sort of became a, hey, why don't you like work, can you be my coach and can you help me? So that's where things started. And the big difference between a financial coach and a financial advisor is the fact that I'm there to work with um, a client one-on-one or couples together. Uh, We're we're really talking about money mindset, focusing on where is money? What does money mean to you? Where do you want to be? Where do you want your goals? And we do a lot of goal searching and discussion and then we start creating actions so that we can figure out okay now that we know where we want to go let's start implementing it and I work together closely with clients to figure out how to implement that Uh, and everybody's different I mean there is nobody that has the exact same financial financials so working I, I am finding that with clients that everybody sort of needs this help sometimes where it's like who do you ask these questions that's so. terrific, and and you really you're really a, a sort of radical departure from the financial advisor crowd that that sometimes starts to look like uh, like a, a bit amorphous. Everyone starts to look the same. If you look at a hundred websites for a hundred financial advisory firms, you'll feel like you're looking at one firm with different logos and colors. So uh, I love how you differentiate yourself. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit about the ways in which you coach folks, and and sometimes I presume how you help folks graduate into the next level of financial sophistication such that they would need a firm like Facet. So Brent, tell your story. I I certainly know some of it and could add all kinds of color to it, but this this show is for all ages, so PG, please. PG, well, you can add as much color as you like. It's funny telling my story sitting in front of the gentleman that that helped me sort of create my story. Uh, So back in 2005, there was this gentleman by the name of Eric Brotman who who took a flyer on this kid who knew nothing, was coming out of college, uh, but thought he knew everything. Um, and I, I could see the the benefits of financial planning 
uh, coming out of college when they offered a financial planning course for the seniors there at Notre Dame. They ended up canceling the course because only three people signed up. I'm pretty sure it was me, the professor, and the assistant professor were the only people that did it. But I saw the power in that. And so in 2005, embarked on my journey with Eric here, uh, started in back office operations, learned the investment piece. Investment reporting, I think, is where I started. And then eventually got my CFP professional designation, chartered financial consultant certification, all those things. So I got the education, learned tools and resources, uh, and really how to deliver, I would say, world-class financial planning. And Eric, don't get a big head uh, from the gentleman sitting across from me here. Um, and it was a truly amazing experience for the first roughly decade of my career. Throughout that journey, what I realized, and very much in line with Holly's story here, is that I started to see a lot of families who are very much like mine, who may not have a ton of wealth, but maybe they define wealth differently. And they're trying to get started, pay down debt, understand cash flow, provide better opportunities for their kids, but they couldn't get access to the really high quality advice that existed in the industry. And I didn't know how to solve that challenge. The work that BFG Financial Advisors does and Eric and your team uh, is truly life changing in my opinion. Uh, I don't think anybody would debate that. And I started saying, how do you make that more affordable and accessible to the families that need it, want it, and more importantly, deserve it? Um, and that was, I got very lucky. Now, I didn't know how to do that, Eric, because of the, the great work we we're doing here. And then I was introduced to an individual out of San Francisco who is an entrepreneur in the technology and startup space. And just he just pinged me one day. We sat down for coffee and he said, hey, what if we could use technology to lower the cost of delivering real quality financial planning still delivered by a human being? It's not a digital or robo solution. What if we could make it more affordable? Would you be interested? I said, holy cow, let me tell you what I've been thinking about for a while. And I will tell you this with Eric here uh, as well. It was an incredibly difficult decision for me to make because I had to sort of step down as a partner here at BFG Financial Advisors to do this. But I woke up one morning and, and there's a quote that resonated with me and it says, if you have a story, tell it. Because if you don't, someone else will and it won't be the story that you want told. And that morning I said, I want this to be my story. I want it to be the story of the movement towards financial empowerment for every individual and family in this country because they deserve it. Uh, and I just think it's something that's really important to us. And that led to the founding of Facet Wealth back in 2016. So each of you clearly uh, have embraced the, the backgrounds that, uh, that started your careers and, and that formed your life choices. And, and some of it's from family and some of it's from education. Um, and now what I love when I listen to both of you, you both have incredible passion for what you do and you're, you're both, um, mission driven, very much interested in, in making a difference, which is so refreshing. Um, you know, in a, in a world of, uh, 30 second news clips and, and, uh, and, and all kinds of political noise and, and, uh, and horrible news out there. It's nice to find folks who are, who are truly mission-driven. So let's talk, Holly, a, a little bit about the types of folks who contact you at MicroStuff. Um, and, it, you, you know, you mentioned some of the things that they talk about, which is debt management or cash management or, or just philosophy on money. But who are the folks who, um, who contact you who are sort of the the right, uh, the right folks for you to meet right away, and how are you able to help them transition to where they might benefit from a, a firm like Facet and then ultimately like a firm like BFG? Oh, absolutely. Um, so currently, I focus a lot on families, um, particularly couples. Um, as I'm passionate about making sure couples communicate and talk about money so that they're aware. So if something were to happen, the spouse partner is aware of what's going on and they can help and figure out what to do next. I find that um, usually it's one person in the relationship usually is the one in charge of finances and I get that and, that, and they're the, usually the one that's most comfortable with it. Um, but making sure that both sides are communicating well and, and working as a team, that's my passion. I work with everybody. I work with singles. Um, I work with families. I work with mixed families. I, I work with several quite a few different uh, uh, type of clients right now. And I find that a lot of them are in situations where either they're in debt and they, they have no idea what their cash flow is. They've never created a budget or they've never really followed one. So they're not sure where their money is going at all. So they're very confused. Uh, I also have worked with clients that have gotten to the next step. Say they've paid off debt, but they don't know where to go next. And so, and they may not have a lot of savings yet to really do investing yet to go to Facet, for instance. Um, but 
what I do is I work with both types of clients to get them to that point. So they can start saying, okay, now we've, we've reduced our debt or we've increased our cash flow. Now we can go to the next phase. Um, and that may take several months. It could even take a year or so to get to that point. But it real, really, it's working with them very closely, going over those goals, um, getting to that, that point. Because that's really the, the idea is to get them to a point where they're now not really, budgeting is easy. It's second nature. They know exactly what their plans are on spending. And then they can go to the next level. That's uh, that's a great transition to uh, to thinking about how to progress or graduate from one level to the next. I think that's real important. And one of the things that uh, one of the things that I like about your business model, Holly, is the way that you charge for your services. Can you talk a little bit about how you how you make this so affordable for folks who really sometimes are, are sort of clinging to a credit line a little bit? Yes, absolutely. So I focus on fee only. And so I have initial uh, part of my practice where I focus on a plan of action. So I have my clients do that part first, which is basically a two, two one hour meetings. Um, it's very intense. So it's very similar to like a CFP's philosophy of planning. So I go through all the questions of budgeting and, and assets and liabilities and, and all those details to find out where they're at, because that really is key. If I have that information, then we can start creating the plan um, and we can figure out goals and plan. You work on an hourly basis or on a, a project basis? I work on an hourly basis in regards to I do the two hour session. Um, and that is sort of like a package deal hourly basis. And then after that, uh, I continue con- continue coaching with one hour sessions per month. And that's a fee. Per Got month. it. And, and just to be clear, coaching is not therapy. So when you work with couples, this is not marriage counseling, correct? Correct. Correct. It is not. And so and there is, and if there's a search a situation, for instance, where I see that that it really needs to be uh, a marriage counseling is recommended, I will definitely recommend that. That's one thing that's great about my position is, is that I'm here where we can talk, we'll all communicate. And then if there's things that need to be researched, like they need to talk to a lawyer, I'll recommend a lawyer, right? If they need, you know, a CFP, I'll recommend a CFP. If we need to work with you know other types of professionals, then I will recommend that. And I will research uh-huh. that and help them find that. Got it. Okay. And and by recommend a CFP, you mean either Brent Weiss at Facet Wealth or Eric Brotman and his team at BFG <laughs> Financial Advisors, right? <laughs> yes. Maybe. Absolutely. If it's the right, yes. It's, Good. If it's the Brent, right I think fit, we, yes. Yes, I, I know. I mean, I agree with that, Eric. So I, think we'll we've, I think we've just established that. So that's Excellent. good. Um, so Brent, let's transition to Facet because your your model is, is unique. There are robo-advisors, which... Um, which big companies are trying to push out sort of to replace the human or to, um, or to mostly amplify the technology and, and to create a deliverable that's uh, algorithmic and that's right. really computerized. And while computers can build a portfolio, they can't deal with the human element of relationships or fears or, uh, or all the emotions or the behavioral finance piece that really does make at least as much of a difference as picking funds, for example. If not which, more. Yeah, absolutely. So um, so when folks uh, look to engage FACET, what does that look like? What is the, the process? Um, how do you, uh, how are you compensated for the work that your firm does? And what does that typically look like? Um, and who are the folks who you think benefit the absolute most from working with you? All right. You might have to ask some of those questions again as we work through this. But I'll start with sort of our process In describing our process, I'll get to how we charge for our services. And then I think you mentioned the third piece is the who is who are the right clients to that we work with and serve really here at Facet Wealth. So at Facet, Eric, you're right, we are a bit unique. Uh, We are not only a financial planning firm with certified financial planners on staff, we're also a financial technology organization as well. I mentioned a bit earlier that, you know, one of the keys here is how do we lower the cost, really sort of the, the 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 entry point to really high quality advice. And we're using technology to, to do that. I'll spare you the details unless you want to dive in there, but we do have a financial technology division creating tools, resources, applications for our planners and for our clients to engage in the financial planning process. In terms of what we do here at Facet Wealth, there's really five things to take away. Number one, uh, you mentioned the human element. We are human first. We are planning first. 
we're not building technology to remove that human element. I think it's arguably the most important piece in all of this. Holly mentions coaching. Just that human element, that behavioral element of coaching with an individual who knows you and you sort of can you can put your trust in, that's critically important. So we start with a dedicated relationship for every one of our clients. Number two, we then develop personalized, comprehensive financial life plans. Uh, we do manage assets for clients. I'll talk about how we do that in just a second. Uh, and the key is we can work with really anybody at any life stage based upon how we charge. Um, third thing is, Eric, and, and this is something I, I'm still amazed in this industry, we can be different by being fiduciaries, meaning we do what's best for our clients. I know at BFG, uh, you did that as well. I learned that from you early on in my career, meaning everything we do is designed around what's best for our client. We've actually designed our fee structure to remove conflicts of interest. Uh, the fourth thing is our financial planning process, as Holly even mentioned in coaching, it's designed to be simple and actionable. It's not here's 75 things to do. It might be here's one or three things. Here's your best next step to empower you financially so you can take the next step getting towards whether you're digging out of debt, right, digging out of the financial hole, filling it, and then getting towards saving for college, retirement, whatever those life goals may be. And last but not least is how we charge. So we charge a flat fee. It's a flat annualized fee. Think of it as a subscription fee. You can pay it. Our clients can decide to pay it annually, quarterly, or monthly. It's really depending on what's best for them. So Holly mentioned sort of hourly fees. We're flat fee based upon the services we provide and the complexity of someone's life. Now, in terms of best clients, we work with, we have clients from 18 all the way up to 96. We actually had a 17-year-old call us in college and say, I want to work with you, but he couldn't sign the contract. So we couldn't do that. <laughs> well, c couldn't mom or dad help? I mean, I'm not sure if there's like an authorized signer at oh, that point. We, did, we didn't dive into it. I'm not I sure he you. was ready to pay. Maybe I should have referred him to Holly at that point oh, to, to sort of get the late. coaching. <laughs> I, I, I think I can make that introduction. And so the, the, the moral of the story is, we work with individuals that are just starting out, young professionals who have different goals of understanding cash flow and budgeting, paying down student loan debt, credit card debt, whatever it is, to young families. Uh, how do you start a family? How do we buy the house and still save for college and retirement? To individuals that are approaching retirement uh, and really across the spectrum. And our fees do range. Um, they start at $600 per year and go as high as 6000 and anywhere in between, again, based upon the services we're providing and really the value that we're delivering in the relationship uh, to all of our clients. So, so clearly there's a wide range of the types of folks um, that both of you work with. And, and I, I will tell you here at BFG, one of the things that's most fun about what we do, truly rewarding and fun, is that every client, every family, every situation's unique. Mm -hmm. And while I, I like to think there's nothing we haven't seen before, there's no combination exactly that we have seen before, too. So uh, every situation's a little bit different. The, the personalities are different. The outcomes, the desires, the goals are different. Um, and it's nice that, um, that neither of you have sort of a one-size-fits-all model, because I, I don't know of anything that's one-size-fits-all that's comfortable. Um, and I think it's now one size fits most, by the way, but that's a whole nother story. So I look at both of your organizations. I look at MicroStuff and I look at Facet Wealth as, um, as tools, as arrows in the quiver of uh, firms like ours, um, where you know, we tend to represent folks who are doing multi-generational planning, who, are, um, who have uh, at least a million dollars and often several million dollars to invest and who are looking for a scope of services ranging from retirement to estate to legacy to charitable planning to trust planning and tax advice. And, and so we really wind up with some, um, some pretty sophisticated and often complex situations. But all of those families, almost every family we represent, has um, either direct relatives, be it a, a sibling or a parent, or they have grown children who some of them can benefit from what we do, but maybe not initially, and all of whom, to use your word, Brent, are, are entitled to finding and deserve mm -hmm. to be able to find a solution where one size doesn't fit all. And so um, I, I think there's a continuum here. And I think there's a way for Holly to, to help those folks who need the basics and need to get to that next level to where they're ready to actually start building some wealth. Because Holly, if I'm not mistaken, most of the folks you represent are not what one would call, and I put in quotes, traditionally wealthy people. They're, they're folks who are, um, who are working hard and trying to support their families and trying to pay the bills and trying to, to, to not fall into oblivion by missing a paycheck or getting sick. Is that a, a fair representation? Yes, absolutely. Um, I'm shaking my head right now, which you can't see, but um, I'm <laughs> totally in agreement this is here. A podcast. 
Um, but yeah, absolutely, because I feel that w- one thing I also want to say here is that, and to emphasize to the audience as well, is, is that a financial coach and a financial advisor can work together. Um, and that is really a helpful thing. So for instance, I mean, I can have a client that may be ready to start doing some investing, and I would recommend to facet as an example, um, while at the same time, I can still work with them to work on the budget as an example, like like especially cash flow or a particular goal that they may have in mind. And that's one thing that's really helpful is that, I, I and I want to make sure it's emphasized, is that we can work together. It's not just, uh, hey, you work with me and then you need to work with them. You know, like, like working together is also very helpful. But yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, most of my clients, I'll say, are definitely struggling. Like they are paycheck to paycheck and they don't know how to get out of that, right? It, by themselves easily. I also see it as some people I'm finding think that they have it all together and they think everything's great, wonderful. And suddenly they start talking to me and we go over things and they realize, wait a second, I didn't, I didn't really have everything together. Like I didn't realize how much we were spending. I didn't realize where the money's going. And I think that's also a thing to emphasize is that, um, almost anybody and everybody could use a little bit of money coaching or advising because they, they, what they see is one perspective, but what a coach or an advisor can see is a completely different perspective. Well, and, and sometimes having 10, 20, 30 years of experience or, or multiple professionals um, makes a huge difference. I, I think you can always find somebody to work cheaper at anything, but you, you, you know, I, I've, seen, I've seen memes that show the difference between a $30 haircut and a $6 haircut. And while there are probably some fine $6 haircuts, $30 haircuts often are called in to fix the $6 haircut, so there's that. Um, so we're, we're almost at a time which is shocking because we could talk all day, and, and I think actually we should consider doing some things together with our three organizations. I think there's a, there's a, a real appetite for this, and, and talking about how folks can not only graduate from micro stuff to facet, but, but also how folks can graduate from facet to a firm like BFG, and, uh, and sort of as lives get more complex, there are, there are opportunities to do that as well. So um, it's time for our extra credit assignment, and this is where I get to put both of you on the spot. And you this didn't time, tell us about this beforehand. Well, no, I, and I wasn't going to. If you haven't listened to the show, you shouldn't be a guest on it. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so, so here's, here's the thing. Uh, I'm going to have Brent go first because I want to give Holly a little more time to think about this assignment, and that seems fair um, based on our relationship, Brent. Uh, I'm happy to put you on the spot. And but, I'm happy to go first. But let's, let's come up with uh, that one actionable, the one thing that listeners who spent 25, 30 minutes with us today can say, okay, this is the one thing I can do that will move the needle, that'll make a difference, that'll be a step, and it can be anything you'd like, but Brent Weiss's extra credit assignment is. I wanna clarify this, Eric. So this is, so the next step they can take in their financial life, their step towards financial empowerment, or the one thing they can do? Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's either one, whichever, whatever one takeaway, whatever you think someone who listened to the show should do right now or today or this so, week, what so is, this, what step? You know, I, people always ask me what my first step was and people, you know, the elevator pitch for facet people say, what do you do? The first thing I do is I say, I'm, I would love to tell you what I do. Let me tell you why I do it. The number one piece of advice I can give to anybody, whether it's in your personal life, your professional life, your financial life, is to really understand your why. What, what, what are you looking to achieve? What really matters most to you? That should be the foundation of really any plan. And it may not just be a goal of buying a house, but what does that house mean? It should be a home for your family, as an example. So I say, start with your why. Find it. Understand what that purpose really is, because when you find that why and that real purpose, when you define your story, you're gonna be motivated to achieve it. And I, and I know that motivation will help you take that, that, that best next step that you have, even if it's hard, but you feel more motivated to take that step and to achieve it. And I believe that will be the foundation for success. I, I hate to say this, Brent, but that was awesome. Um, uh, Holly, <laughs> On the fly, too. Yes, How about no, that? that was really good. So, Holly, no pressure, but you know, Brent's answer was like number one on the board in the Family Feud. I, I don't know what else to say. But what are your? Um, what would your takeaway be? What would your one piece of of extra credit be for today? Uh, and I'll say, Brent, you 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 t- took the words out of my mouth. No, just kidding. Let's see. <laughs> Definitely, I'll say because I focus on 
purpose and goals. So again, why is excellent. So I'll kind of expand on that a little bit and talk about more of collecting the information. I find that a lot of people just aren't aware. So they don't know where everything is. So just collecting everything so they can see where they are, so they can then figure out their goals and the, the purpose and the why. Um, I find that, you know, some people still say, um, oh yeah, I've got, uh, yeah, I've got these bills or I've got debt, but then they haven't ever actually looked at any of those statements. They're just unaware. And so I think being aware of it and actually looking at it, putting it all together and creating a system, and, and that's also I focus with my clients on, that then it's like eye-opening. Then it makes it easier to then say, okay, what is my why? What is my goals? I'll go from there. That was that was also excellent. And you guys have, have, have nailed it today. I, I very much appreciate you being on the show. Um, Holly, how can folks reach you if they'd like to know more? Oh, definitely. You can reach me on my website at microstuff.com or you can email me at holly at microstuff.com. Perfect. And Brent? It's just as easy. So you can go to our website at facetwealth.com. That's F-A-C-E-T wealth.com or email me directly at brent, B-R-E-N-T at facetwealth.com. Perfect. And we'll, we'll put all of your contact information in our show notes when, when the show goes live. And, um, and we'll share this with our, our audience in the hopes that folks will will find their why, find their purpose. And to Holly's point, start with taking inventory, which we all know matters. Knowing where you are helps to know when you decide you want to get where you're going. So um, for all of our listeners, please subscribe to our podcast, post comments and reviews. Consider sending us a question, which we might answer in a future episode of Office Hours. Or for more, go to www.don'tretiregraduate.com. To learn more about BFG Financial Advisors, visit us on social media. We're at bfgfa.com. We'll be back next week with another installment of Office Hours and in two weeks with another engaging guest or two. For now, this is your host, Eric Brotman, reminding you, don't retire, graduate. From this day forward, let us begin visualizing our dreams and building our futures. Today, I implore you, don't retire, graduate. Visit our website at don'tretiregraduate.com to subscribe. And please like us and post comments on social media. Securities offered through Kestra Investment Services, LLC. Kestra IS, member FINRA, SIPC. Investment advisory services offered through Kestra Advisory Services, LLC. Kestra AS, an affiliate of Kestra IS. Kestra IS or Kestra AS are not affiliated with Brotman Financial or any other entity discussed.